Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. My name's Adam. This is going to be Saturday Night Special, episode 113. Okay, so this week it's going to be a little bit different. Alright, a uh, little bit different as in, I don't believe I have very much machine work that I'm going to put on this episode. We're going to, I've got some viewer mail down here that we want to go over and got some uh, cool stuff to share with you. <clears throat> a couple cool stories to uh, talk about. And after we do that, we're going to go into a couple more of our A-Bomb photo challenge entries. Those are still coming in, and we're getting some really cool pictures from all around the world. That's doing, that's doing great. So um, I'm still enjoying those, those pictures, guys. So I really appreciate you taking the time and, and sending those to me. So, the, uh, so a couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, first of all, is the camera issue so I'm still using the Hero 4 that, that I've been using the, the one that the USB port is broken on the side you know so the, the issue with the, the camera there I talked about last week and I just want to say that I had a, a numerous amount of people that reached out and left comments and left emails and messages saying that they'd be willing to help me fix the camera so uh, I'm not not in lack of finding somebody that can repair this camera okay i've got people from all over the world there's a couple people in uh, germany uh, my friend philip schaefer he even offered to uh, fix it for me he actually called me and offered that and there's been several people here in the states that have offered to to help fix it so there's been a couple guys that i said hey i'll send it to you let me let me uh figure out what i want to do and i'll send it to you so what i want to do is get another camera first that's what i'm planning on doing i just haven't taken the time and gone and got the camera yet um, i had picked up that session that i told you about and i ended up taking it back just discouraged because of the usb port there was guys saying that they do make an adapter for that i wasn't aware of that so anyway i took that back so i'm going to get another hero 4 um, because that's what I want to use. I, it, it takes really good video and the software in it, I, I like it. Uh, I know guys recommend some other brand cameras, but I like the GoPro quality. And uh, as far as the um, customer service you know, situation I'm dealing with, uh, I've got another person who actually works at GoPro in the, um, another section of GoPro out there that has been emailing me and uh, trying to work with me personally on getting this issue resolved as far as the camera. But I think from all the research that's been done and everything that's been said is the GoPro don't actually repair cameras for you. They they repair cameras, but this, it's not, I don't think that you can just send you, you can send them your camera and they fix it and they send it back to you. I don't think it works that way. It's really sad that, that companies operate like that. It's not just GoPro, there's a lot of companies that make uh, small electronics like that. That's, you know, it's a throwaway world. If it, it breaks, throw it away. But uh, it's definitely not like that in my world. In the machinist trade, you fix stuff. You know, you repair it. And you give it back to somebody. And it's just sad you can't do that with something like a GoPro camera. You got you got to find a, you know, somebody else that can do this stuff. But anyway, enough about that. Uh, I will send it to one of you guys. Whenever I get it, get my hands on another camera, and and hopefully uh, somebody can fix it, and we'll have two good cameras. So we'll get to that. All right. Another another thing that I want to mention is the uh, the video from this past weekend, the heavy metal machining. That has been a tremendous, tremendously popular video already. It's only been up for a week. I really appreciate you guys uh, tuning into that leaving me your comments and there's been a lot of likes on that um, I'm gonna have to take a pause in that series for a little while just some personal stuff going on and I'm not sure exactly when I'm gonna have part two out but it will be it will it will come out just uh, be patient and when I get to it we'll get them out there okay it is a uh, it, it, I am excited about sharing the rest of that build it was, it was a lot of really good machine work a lot of heavy heavy machining turning um, I got some parts that I built to hold it in the mill so I got a little bit of that you know in the mill and those heavy keyways so 
Uh, just be patient. We'll get that video out as soon as I can, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? But what I will start working on is the uh, videos for the parking attachment that I'm building for the KT right here, okay? Um, I've been working on that. It's it's still sitting there from the last SNS. I haven't done anything with it, but I plan on this weekend working some more on this and getting more video. So I'm going to try to put together the first part of that video and hopefully have it out after SNS. No promises, but that's what I'm shooting for right now, okay? So. Uh, just uh, stay tuned to the channel, and hopefully you'll see those uploads for the rest of the uh, heavy metal series. I'm just kind of blown away with the, with the, uh, the amount of views that that video has already generated, and I'm excited to, to get it out there. So, all right, I think that's, uh, that's about all the announcements I want to make. Uh, from this point on, I want to go ahead and, and get to our viewer mail. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start right now by mentioning... One of my local viewers, very nice man by the name of Mr. Richard White, he actually stopped by and seen me last night. And uh, he stopped by before, and that was a while back after the shop had gotten broken into. And uh, sometime after that, he had actually stopped by and talked to me, and he wanted to make a uh, donation to the shop to help replace those tools at that time. Uh, very nice of him. And he actually stopped by again last night because he wanted to see me and he had something to give me. So I got that right here and I want to share it with you. And this is something as he was bringing it in, he was telling me, he said, I got something for you that you never knew you needed. <laughs> so he made a guest book for the shop here, a bomb 79 guest book. And it's got, uh, I believe it's 200 pages. Uh, front and back so anybody that comes to visit me now can sign the guest book and you can put your name and your address and leave a comment in here and the date so he was the first one he was the first one to sign it he signed it right here on the first page for me and he, he said thanks for all the great videos you have a good balance between talk and work video don't change Richard 3-30-2016. So, uh, Mr. White is a, is a very, very nice man, uh, very generous, and he loves watching not just my videos, but all of you guys out there, all of the YouTube creators, uh, all of you guys know who you are. Um, he likes to watch you all, and he's into other channels too, the, some of the woodworking channels. Uh, he's, he's very, he, he likes his YouTube, definitely. But it was funny whenever he came in and uh, he gave me the book. We talked about it for a minute, and we were sitting right here, <laughs> and he asked me if I had dinner yet. I said, no, actually, I just got home from work, which I, I, had, I had just gotten home. And he, he said, well, they just opened up a um, Longhorns over on 9th Avenue. Let me go over there and buy you a steak dinner. <laughs> I said, okay. So we went over there, and we had a beer and a steak dinner, and it was awesome. I took a couple of pictures of, of he and I in our in our in our steak, so I was going to share them on the video so you can see. But anyway, uh, Mr. White, it was great to see you again. I appreciate you stopping by, and, and thanks for the the new guest book here for the shop. This is really cool. I never I never really thought of that before, so that was really cool of you to think of this. And we'll make sure that we uh, we get, we start getting this thing filled out. It will be fun to look through in the future, you know. So, uh, thank you again, Mr. White, for the, for the awesome gift here. And that steak dinner. It was great. <laughs> so, this is the first box of viewer mail that I want to get to. And a uh, pretty cool story that goes along with, with this box of goodies right here. Uh, so, this was actually, this is actually products, uh, some sample products and some tools from Unior tools for over in Europe and this is actually sent to me by uh, your Korosek I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name but uh, anyway he sent me a, a really nice email and was telling me how how this come about you know he wanted to send this as a way of saying thanks but actually what was really interesting 
is uh, he, he's been a fan of the show and he likes the Saturday Night Special videos. Been watching for a long time and he watches them every week. Uh, so anyway, he, he works for this company, uh, Unior, and he's also, he considers himself a machinist too. He's got a workshop at the house. And they had a like a trade show over in um, Cologne, Germany, okay, Cologne, Germany, and before that, he had never heard of Nova Tools. He, he never seen or heard of Nova Tools until, until I started sharing them on video, and he started uh, searching. He's from uh, Slovi Slovenia, Europe, and he, he never could find any of the Nova Tools over there. So, anyway, he was at this... Uh, he was at this uh, trade show over there in, in Germany, and he says, just so happened the booth that's right next to them was Noga. <laughs> so he, uh, he, had knew, he knew about Avi. Avi's the one that has sent the, the Noga tools to me and several of the other contributors. And so Noga was next to him, so he went over there and actually got to meet Avi and was talking to Avi. And they got to uh, talk a lot about tools, machine shop, and they said they talked a lot about me and the, the videos here. And Avi was very pleased to hear that that Yor had learned about Noga tools off of my videos. So that was pretty cool, you know, just to, you know, two people meeting uh, on the other side of the world, and they have something in common, you know, and it has to do with my videos here. It was just really interesting. So. Uh, as a thank you, he wanted to uh, send me some stuff from his company here that he worked for. So we got a we got a hat right here, and the one I had just pulled out. That's a bottle opener, and I will uh, let me go ahead and pull this out. Okay, so we got a nice bottle opener there, and a lot of this is just kind of uh, uh, promotional stuff. This is a that looks like a uh, one of them keychains that you go around your neck. Another another keychain here. All right, we got a really nice set of pliers and a voltage tester. All right, and he sent me two of these uh, little USB thumb drives. Pretty cool. The light wrenches. I already got one of them at work that I that I use down there. Uh, got a lighter. Let me see. Um, so cool lighter. Got another keychain. All right, we got some stickers. And what else we got in here? Now here's a here's a nice one right here. So we got us a, we got one of these hammers. This is like the hammers that we had been discussing here the past past few weeks. Um, so he sent me another uh, email here recently that has a YouTube video about this hammer. So this is it here. It's very similar to the one that Mart had sent me. It's got the nylon ends. So this looks this looks very similar to that style got a nice feel to it and it's a nice this is a nice hammer to use around a machine shop right there and then we also have uh, a mouse pad we got a book this is sort of like a like a personal journal type notebook that you'd write in and then we also have a we have a pen also and that is it right there so just some nice gifts from Yor over at, uh, at the Unior brand of uh, tool makers there. So very cool story. And I'm glad that you got to meet Avi. And I hope that you enjoyed <laughs> seeing this stuff here on video. But uh, thank you for the nice gifts. These are some nice tools. And this would be a great addition around here. I'll be using this quite a bit, OK? So thanks again, guys, everybody over there at Unior. So our next gift, this is pretty cool. This was sent in uh, by James Crumbie, and he's from Stratford, uh, Prince Edwards, I believe, over in Canada, or up in Canada. And what he's got here, this very interesting book that was put out 
by the uh, Kearney and Trekker uh, Machine Company. Milling practice series, right and wrong, and milling practice. And it's a, it's a really neat book to look through, and it gives you it gives you all of your rights and wrongs. Look at there, it looks like he's using a uh, A-bomb lead knocker. <laughs> and it's really neat. I've, I've been flipping through it a little bit and showing all the rights and wrongs on how to properly use the horizontal milling machine right here. So I'm actually gonna take it in tonight and I wanna flip through it and look. And there, there was a few things that I seen in here that you know, I wasn't really aware of, so I'm going to flip through it and enjoy it. So, James, I really appreciate you sending this to me. That's a great book for the collection, okay? It's awesome. All right, so our next gift. This was sent in by Eve Morissette from Sherbrooke, Quebec, Canada. And what he has made is this really nice uh, 3D... A Bomb 79 logo that was made on his 3D printer. Did a very nice job of it, and he actually attached some uh, magnet strip to the back of it there so that I can stick it anywhere I want, uh, preferably maybe over there on the cabinet so we can see it. Very cool stuff right here. So he's got a nice little letter here. Uh, just uh, kind of go in a little bit by himself. Uh, the 3D printing. It's something that he does for a hobby, and he, he loves to watch all the videos. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to uh, mention that he, that he tells me in the letter here is that he's going to upload the file for anybody that would like to make this for themselves that has a 3D printer or whatever. Um, he's going to upload the file so that you can go over there and download this, and you can do it for yourself if you want one. And I'll post the link there on the video, have it in the description box so, so that you can click on it. But it's going to be thingiverse.com and search for A-Bomb 79. So uh, hopefully he'll have that up there ready whenever this, this video goes live. I'm going to make sure that I email him and let him know that I'm going to give it a mention. So, and uh, that's it. So very cool job, Eve. I really thank you very much for it and we'll stick it over here in the shop okay so we'll see it in the future so whenever you uh, ship something out in a flat rate box if you want to make sure that your stuff gets there you got to do it up right so this is a package that was sent in by Larry Kiefer from Hardin Montana and he did it up right he actually built this nice wooden crate so that these parts will not get lost in mail. He even sanded it off so there wasn't no sharp edges on it. So, I got my screwdriver ready. Let's open this thing up, see what we got inside. got a wire tied in there man very nice what we got here is some Morse taper reamers we have a number five Morse taper reamer and a number six Morse taper reamer and Larry contacted me and showed me a picture and said that he had these reamers and did not need them and wanted me to have them if I wanted them. I told him, I said, I, I actually don't have any reamers like this. I've got, I believe I have a number four Morse taper in the reamer drawer over there, but I don't have any of this size. So he said he wanted me to have them. So I uh, said, send them on then. So he, that's what he did. Let me, let me clip these wires. I actually want to pull them out of there and take a closer look at them. Very nice packaging job you did, Larry. You went above and beyond. Definitely excel in the packaging department. 
And he says these things are new, never been used. It looks like they got, I don't know what that powder is on them. It's like a, I don't know what it is. Uh, let's see. Alvord Polk Tool Company, Millersburg, Pennsylvania, made in USA. There you have it. Very cool. Go ahead and knock this other one out of here. So this one, this one's still got some uh, peel coat on it. Let me see if I can get it out of this stuff right here. Need to just give them a nice little little clean up and get this powder off of them. Uh, this one's made by Morse, New Bedford, Massachusetts, USA, number five. And it too looks like it's new, never been used. Very nice tools for the collection. Thank you very much, Larry. I really appreciate you sending them to me. And we'll put them in the drawer here and add them to our collection. Thanks, man. I thought I'd give you a little update on the Covell surface grinder. Finally got it inside the shop. I did that a couple weekends ago and uh, I've got my shop desk moved over to the other side of the door and we got it sitting here and it seems to be nice and rigid there. It's just sitting on the concrete. But uh, we got it plugged in and it works. So I figured I'd uh, turn it on and let you at least hear it run for a sec. I, I, don't, I don't really feel good about this old wheel here. Uh, I want to go ahead and, and get me a new get me a new wheel and get it on here and get it dressed. Uh, one little quick project I'd like to do. This is a diamond dresser that I found on the machine, so I'd like to make a little a simple little mount for this to go in and uh, set it down there on the, the mag chuck and be able to dress the wheel. Need to get it, definitely need to do some cleaning here. We'll, you know, do a regrind of the of the chuck itself, but take all this off and clean it. I want to clean the ways of the, uh, the machine right here. It rolls and it seems pretty smooth, but you know when I feel underneath here, it does feel a little sticky, and it's it has sat for several years not being used. So I think that oil is kind of gummy. So we need to do a good clean, and it probably look really nice with a paint job. So maybe we'll do that one of these days. So anyway, we'll fire it up. There it is. It seems to be nice and quiet. So this is something that I want to work on here uh, in the very near future is to try to get this uh, in working condition. I think it'll work now, but I just, I don't feel good about that wheel and I want to get it cleaned and, and working right. So uh, hopefully we'll show some of this in the near future and I, and I just want to go ahead and add um, and say something just about surface grinding uh, just because we're talking about this. but. I actually already have my sights on another surface grinder here in town. And whenever I get that surface grinder, uh, this one will probably end up taking the work down there. And so we'll, we'll have a little one to use there. Because sometimes we're doing spacers and things for gearboxes that we need to uh, dress, you know, take a few thousands off. So this would be handy for that. But I don't know when that's going to be, and I don't want to uh, spoil it or anything, so we'll just kind of wait until that time comes. But um, I will say that it's bigger than this, and it's basically brand new, and I won't have to stand here and do this. <laughs>
So, but anyway, we'll get we'll play with this first and get it running and, and get it using, um, doing some jobs on it. I believe that's going to be about it for this week's S and S. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't have a lot of machining to share with you this week. I, I always strive to, but uh, we we got plenty more to come. So we got this new project that we're working on here in the shop, and we're going to go ahead and start working on that video. But I just wanted to. Uh, give everybody a mention out there, all of the viewers, and just say thank you for the support that I've been getting. It's just unbelievable the amount of support that I continue to get here. Today, we hit 70,000 subscribers to the channel. Completely amazing. I, they seem to be climbing at a little bit more rapid pace here lately. It's funny how it does that, you know, it kind of, the analytics go up and down. Sometimes we get a lot of subscribers and then then it'll kind of drop off where we only get a few, but um, it's, it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. People are sharing the videos, and they, they get out there, and other people find them. It's just really cool, but uh, thanks again for all the support that you guys give. You know, all this, all this, these generous gifts that people send to me, just I don't know how to thank you. All right, we're going we're gonna to wrap it up here, guys, and I will see you on the next video. And we'll see you later.